My name's Kate Crane from the north of England. Welcome to my next video for gel press. I'm going to be using the 6 inch round and the 8 inch round. I'm going to use these together to layer up to make some journal pages. In this video you'll see me printing directly with the gel planes. You can get hold of things like this if you can see this on there. This is a um, it's called a mega mount. It's a large acrylic block and you can mount your gel press plates on here and it helps you to directly print. However, I'm doing something slightly different in this video. You'll see when I print with my gel plates in this video, all I do is leave it on the backing packaging. And that is enough, it holds very, very well to that, and that is enough to allow me to directly print onto the page. So you'll see me using a cheat method to print with my gel plates. I'm going to show you two journal pages using the same technique. This one, where I've left quite a lot of white space, unusually for me. And this one, where I've got a full completed background as well. So same technique, two journal pages. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be using a six inch round and an eight inch round to lay them up together. I've picked out a few stencils not sure yet which ones I use so I'll explain those as I go along and I'm going to use some uh, deco art fluid acrylics primary magenta and diarylide yellow and also some tinting base this is like a thick white paint that helps to make these a little bit thicker and a little bit more opaque I'm going to print a page in my um, Strathmore journal I'm going to attempt to leave lots of white space something I'm not usually too good at I'm going to start by putting some on with my fingers. Now these two colours, I know, if these blend, they will just blend harmoniously and make um, shades of orange. So I can't make mud using these two colours. Now the tinting base, I'm working a little bit first. And this will just help me to blend these colours. Now I don't want to work that too much otherwise it all becomes just one shade of orange. Now I'm using my gel plate on the backing paper, the packaging. This allows me then to turn it over, just tilting my brayer I can just bring it around the edges. I've switched now to my 8 inch round and I'm going back to the magenta and I'm also going to use this uh, flower pop stencil by Dilutions. Now I've gone back to my 6 inch round some of the tinting base. I've now switched to my journal. I'm working in my square black um, dilutions journal and I'm going to repeat the same process on this page that I've got ready. Now all I've done here is gessoed the background, I've left a little bit darker in the corners and I've put on a very light layer of a lime and a turquoise colour. I just wanted it to be a contrast to the colours that I'm going to put on the top so I'm looking, looking for the opposite colours.
now I've got the basics of two art journal pages, I hope you'll come and join me in part two when I show you all of my finishing techniques to transform these into completed pages.